morning. It's Pastor Mark with First United Methodist Church of Batesville, Arkansas. We are sharing in a morning devotional this morning, following up from Sunday's sermon uh, that we continue the series, Are You a Fan or a Follower? And, and I want to look in particular at the Lord's Prayer, with his, which is in Matthew chapter 6, beginning with the ninth verse. But I want you to listen to it. This is in the Contemporary English Bible, but it's a little different from the one we've learned. We've learned it in the King James Version mostly. So sometimes this throws us a little. Jesus says this, Matthew 6, verse 9, Pray in this way, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. And bring us not to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. You know, when you when you think of it in different words, sometimes you you get thrown off, and we we get uncomfortable when we things are not said the way we're used to saying them. But it does get us kind of a floor, format for our prayers. So this is right after you recall Jesus said, "Don't heap up empty words. Focus on what you want to say." And then he gives us an outline, I think, for prayer. First, he starts off pray this way. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. First and foremost, our prayers should be focused on God. That's the beginning of our prayer. God, you're the one I need. You're the one I count on. You're the one I depend on. You are the Holy One. And then we get to ask, um, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Fix our problems, our. Fix, you know, let, let your will be done here is a call for us to ask for God to intervene and not just what we want. After we've done that, then we have the opportunity to say, give us this day our daily bread. That becomes very personal. Do you hear that? I'm hungry. Feed me. Help me find what I need to eat. And that can be literal, or that could be spiritual, or emotional, or physical. (laughs) I mean, it can be all of those things. But it is, it is after we have acknowledged God and called to the God above all for God's will to be done more than ours, then we get to state what we need. Remember, if we focused in on our prayers, we will know what this is. And by the time we get there, hopefully it'll mean even more to us. And then say, and forgive us our debts. Forgive us what we have done against you for what we've withdrawn from you. A debt is different from a trespass in modern language. It is, of course, all representing sin, but we're saying we've taken things from you, God. Forgive us for that. Help us to start over just like we're going to do that with everybody else today. What a condition to put in your prayer. It really doesn't just say, give me what I want, but Lord, Take care of me and I will do the same for others. And then it ends by, don't bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. Keep us from being in situations where we make bad decisions, where we go further into debt with you or with others. So we have a format for our prayers. Today, I hope you'll practice praying the Lord's Prayer a few times. And you'll know it like I do it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We can rattle that off. But do just a phrase at a time and think what you can say in your own words, not just to heap up empty phrases, but to say what you want to say to fit that model that Jesus gave us for how we pray. Recognize God above all else. Ask for God's will to be done. Ask for what you need right at that moment in this day. And then ask for a fresh start as you also make a commitment to give that to everyone else. Then ask for protection. Let that be your prayer today and always. Have a blessed day and hashtag be a blessing.